ripping off roads. I'm nothing but a delivery boy. At least we're not being shot at. Don't speak too soon. Destroyer probes are too finely tuned. We'll be lucky if they don't start shooting at us as soon as we drop them. Let's get it over with. Ready? Ready. Hit it! Get us away from here, Raymore! Sorry I can't take you right to the door, folks, but uh, I don't think your little toy would stand the strain of my engine. My big brother thinks that anything that isn't Starcom is a toy. I didn't say that. Leanna, don't be so sensitive. Without Starcom, we couldn't even exist out here. And without scientists, there would be no Starcom. All right? Well, I worry. You take care out there, little sister. You too, Mom. All ashore that's going ashore. Remember, we'll pick you up in 24 hours. Roger, Colonel. Watch out for the air whales. Dash, of all the stupid air whales are harmless. Dash was teasing. Honestly, the two of you. Niner to Starcom 1, come in. Hey, brother-in-law. Yes, Colonel. Any change in that signal from Station 1? Nope, nothing but a locator frequency. No information transmissions at all. Well, keep monitoring and let me know if there's any change. He really was worried about us. That's Starcom's job, Mother. Beautiful. You really love them. I just wish we knew more. They eat something, they move somehow, and they're not intelligent, as far as we can tell. Patience. As you always tell me, science takes time. Truer words were never spoken. Look, there! It was a kite, wasn't it? Yes, stalking the air whales. The cameras were recorded. Come on, we've got to run that maintenance alignment check.
got incoming missiles. What? Why would anyone fire on a research station? Just a minute. That's got it. We've stopped moving. We could be anywhere. We're alive, that's something. Was that a Nantucket sleigh ride? Yep. What kind of sled? In the old days on Earth, when they used to hunt whales, sometimes a harpoon whale would drag a whale boat for miles. They called it a Nantucket sleigh ride. I used our drogue drift anchor as a harpoon and hitched us a ride on an air whale. Did the anchor hurt it? No, they don't feel pain. Or anything else, as far as we can tell. They're just... there. And we're here. But where is here? Good question. We're about a hundred kilometers from our last position. The air whales are faster than we thought. Well, you never shot at them before. We didn't shoot at them. Someone did. The scanners picked this up just before we were attacked. Rusty, your gunnery section. What is that? Well, we don't have anything like it. But if I was to guess, I'd say it was some sort of armed drift probe. A what? A floating mine, ma'am. Which means there's probably more of them around. Oh, no. Let's hope Dash gets back to us before we run into another one. We may have a long wait, Leanna. Our communications boy is gone. It could take weeks for them to find us. Weeks? But we only have enough air for another day. I know, dear. I know. Now let me get this straight. Two sixes and an eight be three of a kind unless it's a Tuesday or a month with an R? Right. What do you call this game again? Is been. I'll get it. I'll get it. What's the game? Fizz been. 
Good hand, huh? No, you got a red huh? nine. I do? Yeah, and since it's afternoon, you lose. Hey, wait a minute. Any word yet from your mom and sister? Nothing yet. They should have checked in by now. They probably lost track of the time. They're scientists. My mother's not an absent-minded scientist. She always remembers to check in. Something's wrong. You're right. Our patrols picked up a Shadow Force ship in the asteroid belt. It made a pass through Jupiter space. And it was rigged to carry destroyer probes. A mine layer. Leanna and Mom are in trouble. Hey, I think... I was going to say, I think we'd better get over there. The Station 1 beacon is still operating. The stations were close together when 2 went off the air. We'll start there. Be careful. The probes are slow, but the missiles they carry aren't. Yeah, and they can turn on a dime. Dash has just got to be looking for us. And there's no way to let them know where we are. Sometimes you just have to trust your luck. Luck has no place in science. What's that whip? A whale? No. The kites and air whales don't show up on radar. Or even biodar. I don't know. You don't suppose? No. I'm afraid it's one of those probes. Only a few hours of air left. Calm down, Sean. Yeah. Gotta be looking for us. No mistakes now. They're running low on air down there. Don't worry. We'll find them. I have to worry. I've got family down there. So do I. Leanna's my wife, sir. Sorry, Victor. Nothing down there but the boy. I have a dozen probes. Closing at 20 kilometers, 90 degrees true. Heads up, guys. Tracking three groups of missiles. On my command, fire dispersion barrage. Hold it. Hold it. Now. Great. Missiles impact in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, zero. On target. I have 12 possible targets. No, 15, 18, and closing fast. Thank you. Destroy, destroy, destroy. No missiles, no probes. Start the 
research pattern. I got lost once. I remember. Yeah. Dash and I were on a ranger cadet camping trip in the Yukon. We got stormed in and nearly froze to death. I was so scared. When they found you both, I was so relieved. I never asked how you were located. The cadet master had a flare gun. She fired a flare and an airliner saw it. A flare? That's right. What's the matter? I have an idea. It may not work, but anything's better than simply sitting here doing nothing. This is Dash. I've covered Red Sector 2. Moving on to Red Sector 3. They might not even be at this depth anymore. They might not even be alive. Slim here. Just blew a probe at Vector 3.95. Beginning my turn. No, wait. If you're still getting probes on your track, it may mean the probes drifted your way. And if the probes did, the station could have. Right. Stay on course. I'll be right over to support you. Everyone okay? Fine. What's the plan? I've evacuated all the air on board into the spare fuel tank. Yeah? So? Now I'm going to use the retros to fire it at that probe up there. What? That's our air! Mother! <laughs> that leaves us with only two hours of air. What did you hope to gain? I'm betting that that probe will send out our distress signal. Concentrated oxygen flare at 330. I see it. Let's go. Probar, Vic, rendezvous at point 330. Right. <sighs> Mom, Leanna, are you okay? Fine now, son but we've only got a few minutes of air left. That makes us about even. We've only got a few minutes of fuel. Victor, Slim, you go in and lock on. We'll ride shotgun. Activate magnum. All ahead, one half speed. Dash, we've got company. Probe, lots of them. Take them if they close. They're just hanging up there. Think they're afraid of us? Probably waiting for us to run out of gas. In my case, I think they've got two minutes. My tanks are dry, Slim. Sorry. I'm near the empty. Yeah? Yeah, buddy? I think I'd rather go down fighting. Roger that. We might as well do this right. Here they come. Colonel Erringer, this is Captain Yablonski. You folks need a tow. You bet, Captain. How many women's husbands actually ride to their rescue? Hey, not in front of the guys. Didn't I tell you to watch out for those air whales? For your information, big brother, it was an air whale that saved us. Really? Among other things, yes. Well, you'll never hear me insult an air whale again. Okay, three red cards beat four black, but only if there are no queens. Are you sure you've got the rules right?
Hey, you made it to the end of the episode. That's awesome. If you like our videos, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're in a position to help out the channel, consider supporting us on Patreon. Be sure to check out our Facebook page where you can keep up to date with us. And go ahead and watch another episode of your favorite nostalgic cartoons right here at the Cartoon Vault.